Right folks, just another very small video again. I've just emerged from a small stream and coombe down there. Big Noller Hill this is. Look at all the ferns here. No sign of any sheep or anything at the moment. Like I said, it's a steady climb. I think it gets steeper, like steep, like that. But it still will weave in and out a bit later on. Basically, I'm heading right up there. Then it goes around a corner a bit and then we go from there. So it's not too bad. It's a steady climb. It's a lovely sunny day. There's a welcoming breeze. Um, it's welcoming. I don't like a lot of wind, but on a day like this, right over there in the far distance, I'll be Dunkery Beacon. I won't zoom in, save the memory and the and power, but the hills of Exmoor, right over there, and the Dunkery Beacon is. A, a, a hill I've climbed over near Porlock area. I've explored all over there over the past few years. When I had my camper van I used to stay at Porlock and explore the area. I liked the Porlock campsite, it was really good. Very close to the beach, close to the shops and, and I was able to do some really good hikes from there. Now, of course, the, the public service is very difficult to get anywhere. Camping is also precarious in this funny weather we're having. Um, very precarious indeed. So it doesn't encourage one to think, oh, let's just get your tent and go and camp, because one day you could have it like this. The next day, absolutely torrential. <sighs> So it's, uh, I don't think it's going to work this year. I still got to get a very light mat, yeah, a very light one that costs over a hundred pound. If, if I'm going to carry stuff, I have to have everything light. I mean, I can get a bus to my Ned. There's a campsite there. I could, if I, my stuff isn't too heavy, I can walk over the, the hills, about two or three hour walk to uh, the gentle route, not the rugged. I've done the rugged. If I'm carrying more stuff, I would do the easier route. Camp at Porlock. And then maybe walk to Orr, where I really want to go to Orr, where um, Lorna Doom Valley and all that, you know. I, the reason I'd want to stay in Porlock is because they're shops. Because I won't be able to carry loads of food. I would carry enough a, a stove for heating a, for a cup of tea. And then you've still got to lug the water, you see. So, and I'm, the thing is, I am getting any younger, and I can feel the strength, it's not draining away, but it is going. Um, I can feel it. I don't recover so quickly from big hikes now. This will be a big hike. But I'm enjoying it, I love it. I just love being out here, folks. As you all know, Holford's my favourite place out of all of it. Holford is. I can't get a bus to Holford. <sighs> there is a campsite in Holford, just up the road in a field. So that's another possibility, but once again, you've got to walk several miles to find a shop. I've got some campsites do have stuff, but they tend to charge a lot. <sighs> I, that's, I do miss my van now, you know. God. If the weather change, you can just sit the telly on. Doesn't mean I won't get another one. I've had two. And I've had cars, so... At the moment, I'm quite happy not to have one. To tell the truth. 
when I did have to part with Alberta, though it was sad, I felt relieved. She was being vandalised nearly all the time. And the repair bills were going up and up. She was getting older and older. So it was time to say goodbye to her. I, I do hope someone will restore her though. She is a classic. She's uh, 30, 30 this year. So she's a good old beast. Had her for six years and I really, really enjoyed having her. Uh, the only thing that wasn't good was half the stuff didn't work. Um, the main thing said, anything to do with the engine, lights, brakes, but um, all the other bits that were supposed to like the shower, you had to hand, like flush the toilet with bottles of water. Um, I, I did, I think the heating sort of worked. Uh, and she had spiders, false widows, she was riddled with them. I used to get bitten all the time, even when I was driving along, we'd get one fall down from the dashboard and land on your leg or something, you know. I used to get bitten loads and they'd crawl on you at night. It was a bit dodgy from that point of view. Right, then we'll turn off again now. It's another little bit of reflective diary, journal, visual diary. Over right now, folks. So look there. See some deer. Look, I didn't see them when I was walking up. They were out of view. There's a sheep. Some deer there. See them? One spotted me. She's on guard duty. Yeah, on guard duty. There's a baby there. Little Bambi. Run in then. Okay. No stags, just does. There might be some small stags. Hi, right, over now, everyone. Bye bye. Worth coming just up here, just see you lot, wasn't it? Now when I came a year ago, I came down there, they were in the same space, they were in the same place, I mean. That's great, that's a great greeting to the start of the walk, isn't it? Because what you've got to remember, I haven't actually come very far because I'm going up a big hill, Bicknoller Hill. You can sit on a map. Okay, it's not like going up like that, but look, it is curling round and round and round. Reminds me a bit of that quarry route I did last week. That was a bit like this, but not so pretty. That was up and up and up. Somebody coming. Someone on a bike. Right, over and out a minute. Right, back on. Somebody on a bike going by. Mind you, those bikers, they, they, they go uphill as well. It always amazes me how they go uphill. I'm going uphill and um, it's horrible. <laughs> Tell the truth, I don't like hills. The compensation, seeing those deer over there and knowing I'm getting closer to the top where there'll be even more magnificent views and making my way to Holford and to Old Fox and House. Hopefully there'll be time. This is a big time consumer, this bit alone, uh, the hill. The hill's a big eater of time straight away. It's very exposed here. I'm right in the sunlight. Bye, dearies. Might see you later. I often think my sister Jude joined the deer. She loved it out here, you know. I can imagine her being a deer, actually. A graceful deer. 
Yeah, I can. Over and out, everyone. <laughs>